Well, today's project is rotating tires and bleeding of the brakes. Well, not so much bleeding of the brakes, we'll call it, call it flushing, just getting out the old brake fluid so I can push in new and uh, keep the old stuff out, keep the moisture out, keep the rust out of the brake calipers so we don't have no sticking, any problems like that. But I do this in my driveway. Luckily, I have, um, I just got a small air compressor, it ain't much, but I picked me up a used, what thing is this, like a one inch impact. And golly, it, it's, it's a monster for, for sure. So I got this, but in your, you may not have access to a big impact like that, but if you wanted to t tackle this yourself, if you have a local truck place, they could just, you know, as long as you got a big half, half inch ratchet, but if you took it to a truck place where they could take the impact just to break them loose, and then you could snug them back up with, the, with your ratchet, drive back home, and then, you know, take them off y yourself if you want. The way I do it, I do one side at a time. I got my, I use my jacks just, just to get the tire just off the ground. So it's just clearing the, the ground. Of course, you don't want to be anywhere under it. But I've done it this way several times. And the other side is still on the ground. I just, just tilt it the one way. Of course, this is the W24 chassis, 24,000 pound. Uh, so I'll, I'm going to whip those off. And what I'm doing, if you notice up close, see these tires are starting to get a little bit of cracking on them. These tires are about five years old. And of course, the tread is great. They just age out. But for some reason, only the front tires, the, the, the outside rear is not doing that. It looks great. Inside rear is great. So what I'm doing, I'm going to take the front tire, move it to the inside rear, take the inside rear, move it to the front. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. Once I get the tires off, I'll, I'll loosen up the, the nuts, bleeder screws on the, on the brake calipers and, and bleed it. And I'll show you how I do that process. So let me show you how to sweep. Well, I don't know to tell you the truth. This is a two-hand. It takes two hands to operate that monster. So there's no way I can show you how that works. But okay, I'll, there it is. That big impact makes quick work for those large nuts. So let me get this compressor turned off. Okay, that's quieter. You may not have heard me. I was just saying that big impact really makes quick work of those big, big large nuts on there. Those look nuts. And um, also the fact when you always keep in mind when these things go back together. They torque up, I believe it's like 495 pounds. And right on the nut, it's stamped right on there, 450 to 500 foot pounds. So it's a lot of torque, and you want to make sure those get torqued back properly. So what I'll do when I put these back on, I'll put them on with the impact as tight as it'll go, but I'm sure it won't take it up to 500 foot pounds. So I'll drive down the road to a tire store that I know, borrow the torque wrench, and I'll walk out here, and it's like five foot long torque wrench and I'll check each one and get it to the correct spec. spec. And uh, But now that I've got this off here, I can inspect my rotors, make sure they're all in good shape. You know, I've got no dragging. You know, so the, I know the calipers are doing their job. And here's where I, I, we bleed them. Uh, it's 11 mil, it takes an 11 millimeter wrench on these. you got two of them. So, um, actually I just sent the wife to, to the store to get some more brake fluid so when she gets back I'll have her pump up the brakes. And that's not, another thing, you don't have to have the engine running to, to bleed the W24 because it's got that auxiliary brake assist. It's electric. So she can just sit in there with, uh, you know, and just pump up the brake about three times, get pressure on the pedal, and I'll crack the, the bleeder. And uh, I'll do that about three times on each one just to purge out the old, old fluid and uh, get some fresh pumped in all the lines. I try to do that every couple of years. So, um, my thinking is, as long as I do that, I'm keeping the moisture out of the system and prevent Because the, these original calipers, this 2005 model, original calipers never give me any trouble whatsoever. So, alright, so now I'm on to take the back one off. There you go. Okay. That was a fight getting those big heavy things off. But, anyway, here's the back calipers. They look good. Rotors look good. Also keep in mind if you have uh, these sensors on your tires like I do, you, you got to switch those and get those in the right tires. So this will be going up front. The front will be... Wait a minute. No. This tire will be going up front. The sensor will be staying back here. And so I got that done. Now we're going to start bleeding right, up.
Alright, pump it up again. Huh? Pump it up again. Pump. Okay. It's okay. Good deal. Alright, let me get to the back side. Okay, well that's all there is to it. You got your bleeder here and you got your bleeder in the back. Get them good and tight. Put the caps back on. And then that way uh, I'll go to finish rotating these tires. Pretty much all there is to it.